Why hello there my fellow Corsairs, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Crash Landed Corsairs. Episode 19, time to run. Um, so I asked what reward, but then I didn't actually pull you about it. So eight honor, or a Psy Sensitizer, and 65 Plasteel, or one Heal Serum, and Silver, 286 Silver. Let's try that again. Honor would be the best thing for the win condition. Uh, Heal Serum's a nice insurance policy, but it doesn't really help me win. Also, nobody that I care about has uh, permanent injuries of any type. Caveat being that I care about Sorry Sabin with your aching torso scar. I'll feel for you, but maybe not enough to pass up 8 honor. Hope you understand. All right, harp's court is done. The 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 so one of the only exceptions to the rule is like any um, instrument required to ascend royal ranks is allowed, despite the fact that it's obviously kind of non-tribal, because otherwise there'd be no way to win the scenario. Wish it was Res Serum? Yeah, if it was Res Serum, the equation might change. Because having Mox or Isaac back would be a very powerful boon to the group. Both of them died in, like, semi-ridiculous ways. 99.6% plague recovered, or just a daisy chain explosion. That honestly, in hindsight, like if I could go back in time, uh, I would have just had Glitch skip him out of danger. Because I had skip, I could have. I just didn't. Because I, I thought he'd be fine. And obviously that was a grave miscalculation. Oh, freaking Gormond again. At least I have a dedicated cook now. I hope the food that you're binging on gives you food poisoning. I mean, I, I kind of don't actually. All right, so looks like we're going for honor. Uh, so what was this as soon as I accept? So I think what I'll do is accept this after the Baron Ascension. Because the... I might, when I become a Baron, get, like, Berserk Psycast, which would make that um, Danger Pod a lot easier. And the only thing holding me back from Baron is the Grand Meditation Throne, which is, like, uh, almost three-fourths done. barely anything left worth hunting in this map dial. I mean, if we want to get spicy, there's a mega sloth, but other than that, everything's small. Hares, raccoons, squirrels, tortoises. I guess turkeys is the next biggest. Oh, sure, are you kidding? Sabin? Uh, Glitch, you're gonna need to skip Sabin. So, uh, God, like literally, this is what I'm talking about, the bad luck. Like, as I'm hunting, Five grizzly bears spawn within uh, within 20 tiles of me. It's like, are you kidding? Well, now would... Okay, shake, get inside. 
Now wouldn't be a, necessarily a terrible time to accept the danger pods, because I have a bunch of angry bears that could, you know, help with that. I guess. So... Yeah. Sounds good to me. I hope the danger pods land on you. What did I do to Cass? I don't know. Prefer Randy over Cass, I guess. And I'm st sticking with that. Okay. Uh, so they don't have a proxy sensor, and they do have high mech shields. So it's actually going to be a little tricky to piss off the cluster there. Um, I don't know off the top of my head if I can, like, beckon one while it's sleeping. I don't think that works. So I think what I'm going to need to do is um, huck or shoot it with EMPs. And then, like, yeah, this is going to be, this is going to be sketchy. So what I'll do is I'll set up the bears to hug the eastern door, the easternmost door, so that I can... Um, uh, yeah, and I'm going to need to do all of this, like, fast. So the fact that Glitch is asleep kind of sucks. So EMP grenades. I have the 20 steel and components for no problem. Um, in fact, let's not put the steel over here so I have access to it. Oh, you know, the sleeping spot probably works. Yeah. So if I do this, the only issue with the sleeping spot is it starts printing centipede blasters. Ugh. All right, fine. Um, so the best thing I could do for sleeping spot is, uh, is wall up all of the potential exits so the bears will free attack them. But I'll do sleeping spot. I mean, it's it's cheese, but like I don't have any rules against no cheese. It's a good call, thank face. No, no, build, 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 build. Oh, what, you didn't bring enough lumber? Are you, you're joking. All right, so we're walled up. We're no longer a valid target. Wakey, wakey. No, nothing? All right, EMP grenade is on. Which I'm going to wake you up for that. Oh, you slept enough anyway. And then JFed, you wanted to look different? You don't like your hair? Uh, that's pretty similar. Face tattoo. Oh, yeah, don't have pirate tats. That's a bit of a problem. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Shake, you're probably the same. You're covered in tribal tats. Or whatever tats, I don't cannibal tats, something like that. I'll give you a tuft. Make you look like a child. A weird child. A weird sickly child. All right, so the plan is probably to huck an EMP nade at the high shield and then just call down a salvo and then get the hell behind the walls. And do this as fast as I can so that the bears are um, in play. Because the longer I wait, the less effective the bears are going to be for destroying the... Uh, destroying the enemies. 
I got my throne, but they're not going to show up until the mech cluster is gone. Also, uh, maybe I should own the throne. Uh, you're begging to join, but you won't tell me about the threats chasing you. Also, you look very royal to me. Uh, do we help Flavido? It's one of those, probably should not accept them while I have bears outside, uh, but they only have seven hours, so it's like... I could also have Flavido decide to punch the mech cluster for me. Because... why not? So if I don't like Flavido, uh, Flavido will be, you know, on fire. Hmm, there's no nice way to put that. All right, it looks like overwhelmingly you guys say yes. Except Flavido, I'm just going to call that early. That looks like a runaway pull to me. Hey, Flavido, sure, I'll help you with it, whatever problem you have. I know that that problem is going to probably bite me in the butt. It's going to be like another, um, going to be another, uh, Oh god, you, I don't know if you can even get to the bears before the... Yeah, the bears are out... Oh boy. You're, you're dead. Lich, how's those grenades coming? Uh... Hey, Flavido. Could you, like, do an amazing job of caravanning away? Maybe I should even see if I like you first. You like drugs and you dodge, but you don't do dumb labor. Well, I could have predicted you didn't dumb, do dumb labor with your royal haircut. I'll try to save Levito because there's no point in like accepting them just to die. So, please exit. Get wrecked! Alright, I want to lure the bears over to this door. Uh, so Shell, break that door down. Yeah, you're surprised? Well, you know, I was smart. Or smart enough to put down the caravan pack spot, like, right... Wherever it was. Yeah, right there. And exit north to, it. you know, add my chance of not getting smushed. Alright, so now the bears are being lured to this door. Because this is the only valid path in. Uh, glitch. Finish those grenades, please. Come on. Just faster. You're so slow. Alright, now I gotta be careful because I can't let anyone see me with EMP grenades. Because that's kind of incriminating. I'm gonna eat a meal, drink tea, and then go. Are you allowed? All right, you're allowed to construct. I'm gonna go red for this because this is gonna be a sketchy maneuver at best. So where is the limit of the shield? Where is the high shield? Anyway, oh there it is. Nope, that's the drop beacon. Uh, where is the? Frickin' high shield blocker. Oh, there it is. Those bears are gonna be chasing me? Seriously, oh, dude, how close do I have to get? I should have made the EMP launcher, even though it would take longer. All right. Don't fire at will. Oh god, I hate everything about this. Um, stand there and throw that. Uh, that's a good throw. I like that throw. EMP is not offline, though. No. Well, we'll have bears soften you up. I'm out of here. Bye bye. I was never here. You will not find me. 
I should have thrown a little bit deeper because of the wall was in the way. Do you do plant cut? No, you don't. All right, shell, once you're done with that wall. So now I'm gonna wall up so that the bears will target the mechs for me and I'll take winner, which is probably gonna be the mechs. Infestation was cheated. Why does it have to be an infestation? <laughs> Uh, oh no. Couldn't it be something that attacks from, you know, the freaking mountains? Uh, oh god. All right, so three hives. I can do that. Uh Flavito, you're coming in. I don't even care if this hurts you. You're dealing with this infestation that you brought upon me. Technically, he should have to convert to my ideology first, but like uh, I'm gonna I'm stretch the rules because I have to deal with that nonsense. And an infestation. So you, sir, uh, are nimble. Good. Shake, you're also nimble. So Flavito, you're gonna grab a stun baton. Shake, uh, I'm gonna give you the... Uh, what can I give you? I don't even have a good melee weapon for you. Maybe I should whip up like a quick um, mace. Yeah, I'm going to whip up a quick mace. Take on these. There's not too many bugs down there, at least. It's not going to be fun, but you know. So Flavito and everybody else stay behind the walls. Um, the climate adjuster is just making it colder. So that's a problem for future me, I guess. Right now, it, the priority is going to be kill the infestation and deal with Flavito. What do we do with Flavito? I can keep him as a, uh, I can imprison him and then convert him and recruit him, uh, but he doesn't really have combat skills. He is intellectual, uh, or I can enslave him, but if he was a slave, he wouldn't be able to research because slaves don't research, or I can over organ harvest him. So recruit, enslave, or organ harvest. That's up to you. All right, so our brawler's got some weapons. Uh, Glitch got some food in him. Get the... So for this fight, I'm going to be using the charge rifle. Everybody rally. And I'm going to make Fulvito deal with this. So Fulvito and Shake both are nimble, so they're going to be... Um, they're going to be forced to, you know, deal with that. Uh, glitch. Open salvo, because you can skip. Cool. Here we go. The reason I showed him my, my secret base is... Oh, you know what? He was tribal. So if I cut out his tongue, uh, I could also tribute him. So let me add that to a... Uh, Add to the list. Tribute donate because he's tribal is allowed. The, the concept behind that, just a little reminder, is that the tribals are not literate. So if I cut out their tongue, they can't tell the royals that I'm secret, you know, enemy. Well, so far, he's uh, dodging. And these only awoke a third of a day ago, so they're not going to replicate anytime soon, which is good. 
What's the- oh, they're attacking my sarcophaguses. I was wondering what that noise was. His backstory outright points him to not being illiterate. That's true! A bookworm and a lore keeper very much screams not illiterate, but that was the- at least the pretense. Maybe he's only illiterate in, um, in tribal, whatever language he has, and not royal language, you know? That will be my justification. The tribals can't write in common or whatever you want to call it. Well, that went uh, smooth. Smooth as butter. Shake. Let's go smush hives. Everybody else is dismissed. Glitch, uh, put that gun away so they don't get caught with it. Wait, uh, no, Sabin put the MPs there. Yeah, kinda can't have that irregular old stockpile or I get screwed. Thank you. Are we patching up the gl- oh god, I'm an idiot. I was patching up the mega spider. <laughs> no, don't do that. I kinda want them dead. Misclick of the century. Well, that's done. We still have this to do. Um, the strongest move I could do with these dudes would be to try to get uh, an EMP on the high shield and then salvo. At this point, I think my best bet is to go mortars. I don't really see a way to fire an EMP that is going to affect the high shield because the high shield is boxed in by metal and I'm not going to be able to get anywhere close before dying. Like If I had a low shield pack, like... It might be possible, or a uh, jump pack or locust armor or something like that, but I don't, so. All right, you guys want him to be a donate. So, he also showed up in, like, Hyperweave, and he showed up with some stuff that, like, tribal shouldn't have, but whatever. Volvito, you be naked. Nope, nope, you're over there. And you know, you caused us some trouble, so I'm gonna harvest your kidney, your lung, and your tongue. You keep quiet now. Tell nobody. Well, Shake, I guess there's really not anything to do but have you research. Let's have you do piano. Oh, you're doing the surgery? Oh, no, okay, that's fine. You're a 10. I freaked out thinking that uh, it was Sabin at a 5, which means no organs. We didn't vote for organ harvesting, but... It wasn't so much organ harvesting as it was organ murder, and I'm not organ murdering him. Um, the the re well, huh. I could do mortar's research. Uh, I guess the mech assembler encourages me to deal with the mechs sooner, so I think you're right about that. So let's go over to uh to mortars. Had they not had the Perenorite, it would have just left them. Those bears really didn't make much of a dent. These blasters are not hurt at all. So it killed like a lancer and a centipede, which... Big whoop. I am going to wake Shell up to give the printed centipedes that are going to be coming in a valid path to me. But what sucks is... Uh, what kind of centipedes is it? Blasters? Uh. Oh, man. Those blasters are just gonna completely eat my spike traps. I kinda wish I had, like, another quest for, like, manhunters or something. So I would happily invite manhunters to my map tower right now. I could call for aid. That's not a bad idea. 
Yeah, let's do that. I do have an alliance with the uh, Royal Imperium, and I would love to see them die, so... They are entering... Okay, not from my base. Good. Enjoy! Uh, one of them ha Do they have any MP grenades? Oh, no, they don't. They are effective-ish. More than the bears, at least. Ooh, look! Noscal, you actually took one down. And then they flee. It's okay. Oh, that's not a, uh... <laughs> that's not bio-coded. <laughs> it's mine now. Nor is the frag grenades, for that matter. They did do something. Yeah, oh, absolutely. They took out two centipedes, which is... And a pikeman. And a lancer. Way... Way more useful than I thought they'd be. One of the weaknesses of this mech cluster is all of their turrets is in the west side, and they have no vision on the right side. So the other way to deal with this... Um, you know what? The other way to deal with this would be sniping at it. So how about you guys decide how to take out the cluster? Sniper rifles or mortars? Both are pretty viable. Because if I snipe from the east, I'll have a greater range than er everything but the two pikemen. And I'll be able to take down everything. I'll be able to plink them down to, to nothing. That and um, I have firing frenzy. And uh, combat command. Well, I'll have combat command in six days, so it, it, it's possible to fire sniper rifles pretty fast with the firing frenzy. The only caveat is I will have centipede blasters being printed. Oh, but this centipede blaster actually didn't automatically attack me, and it got obviously got printed. So maybe they won't be automatically attacking me, which would be good. Um, the other thing I could do is call the Royal Imperium for a Royal Tribute Collector and just kind of hope that the Royal Tribute Collector uh, finds its way to an unfortunate pathing that involves them going through a mech cluster. Because I am, you know, I'd be okay with that. Here's how to get in my base. Through the left door. Enjoy. Tongues removed. Cool. What are you doing with horses? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Cause that's no longer enclosed. Right, just like last time. No one else vote? One more minute to vote. If you don't vote, I'll flip a coin. So if you want a coin to make important decisions, have at it. Right now I'm doing, I'm, I'm planning on going precision rifling. As I think it will be effective. Who are you? You are also tribal with an annoying voice. Mmm, well, I think Flavito has company. This one's unconscious. So I wouldn't actually need to take his tongue. Well, no, I'm going to take all their tongues out. No speaky. He's a great fighter, but yeah. You know. He probably has a voice like uh, Mike Tyson. That That's what it is. He's great at brawling with an annoying voice. And yeah, you know, 
Mike Tyson springs to mind. Sniper Rifles wins by a vote. Okie dokie. You don't need your kidney or your lung, right? Last I checked. Evolution gave you two of those, so uh, I get one of them. It's called uh, Rescue Tax. See, the thing is, like, you would have bled out in my Devil Strand patch had I not intervened. So this is just uh, this is just the cost of intervention. It's kind of like uh, trying to pay for American healthcare. Like, you'll have to sell one kidney to receive another. It's just that expensive. All right, there we go. So he's prepped for donation. So if the Royal Tribute Collectors do survive somehow, uh, I will have, you know, two processed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know why you're upset. I murdered your daughter. Uh, yeah, let's counsel you. And it worked. Cool. I just realized Jafet's daughter was in that, uh, in the defense. But the counseling will work. Well, she died defending you, JFed. You should be proud of that, maybe? I don't, I don't know, probably not. I indirectly murdered daughter, yeah, true. Uh, so I have a bunch of idle people. How about you all like temporarily become miners? So what I, one thing I wanted to do is like look for gold. I know the chance of me finding gold like in a mountain mining around blind is very, very low. But I'm okay with a small chance is still greater than a no chance of not doing it. But expanding these mining tunnels is going to cause the ambient temperature to be warm enough that there's no point in even deep freezing it, I think. So I'm just going to turn off the freezers because there's not really a point in having them run it. Oh, uh, you are a researcher. I know. Relying on a 14-year-old to do the research for me. It makes me cringe like you would not believe, but you're better than everyone else. The Because you were sickly, you spent a lot of time with science and medicine growing up. That's why you're a good researcher. I could keep the freezers on and move the graves close. Like I what what I could do is I could um Put a door here and uh, move the gray, the sarcophagi closer. I don't think I'm going to get Resmic Serum like at any time soon enough for it to matter. But I'll, I'll try for the tiny chance that that is effective. You can never be sure, exactly. But slept in cold, it's 66. That is like my ideal sleeping temperature. Man, you're a weenie. Where's my tribute caravan? Operation, move the corpses. 
is underway. Are they outsmarting me? Yeah, probably. They probably detected from a distance that there's a giant mech cluster here, and they're like, mm, we'll wait until it's cleared. Whoa, that was the shortest insult spree I've ever seen. Did you even sling an insult? No. Why can't I have uh, mental breaks like that all the time? That's that's the equivalent of like uh, getting in an argument and then thinking of something good to say in the shower like two days later. Like, damn it, why did I say that? Well, you had the choice. You had the chance. You just passed it up. So Moxie's been moved. And then we'll move Isaac in a minute. Oh, here they come. Oh, don't be... I mean, at least I'll profit one way or another. In fact... Let me go donate the prisoners to them before they get shredded. Interestingly, they got shot at and, like, kind of ignored it. So... Both Fulvito and Nails have had their tongues removed so they can't speak ill of me. Done. And I would invite you in, but uh, yeah, that's not happening, so... Also, the moment I, um, I allow anything in here, two squirrels run in and... and kill themselves because of course they do and nails is slowly making his way over to the west gate to uh to be donored so i'm a praetor 31 now not bad That mech cluster is now the, the main impediment. And I think it's shooting at nails. It will need a recharge in uh, uh, in 3.3 days. So there's a window regardless of whether I snipe at it or not. I just didn't think it would take that long, but clearly uh, I, I didn't re realize how long I'd be stuck with it, despite throwing allies, bears, and attempted to throw a uh, Kirby collector at it. Maybe I'll get lucky and the tribute collector will exit west and, uh, and still allow me to, you know, use them in a very mean way. Oh, you look very rotted, dude. Did you rot? Yeah, you're rotting. You're not super rotten, though. So, like, there still could be a chance to resurrect you. But not as good as, uh... Moxie.
You guys picked like the most unfortunate place to uh, to muster. I don't know why you're so dumb. But yeah, you decided to hang out in my corpse pile. I'm okay with it if you're okay with it. But you seem not to be okay with it. Thank you for tuning in to Crash Landed Corsairs, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 24th and June 25th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that this series streamed one time only, so no changes can be made. If you would like to join my live streams, rodamot.com or the description of this video have a link to Twitch, and it also has a link to Discord if you'd like to join my gaming community. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel, and also everybody that turned out to the marathon. Thank you, thank you. Hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream of another series. Farewell, my fellow pirates, 